So, you've been emulating the 3DS on Citra, and you would like to use your phone as the bottom screen. Here's how to do it. The first thing you need to do is to connect your phone to your PC as a secondary display. There are a couple ways to do this, but the easiest that I found is by using an app called Space Desk. Go to spacedesk.net and scroll down to download the desktop application. Then, just go ahead and install it. Also, please make sure that your NVIDIA drivers are up to date before using it, otherwise you might have some issues with Windows. Now open your phone and download the Space Desk app for it as well. Open the app and go in Settings. Enable Use Custom Resolution and then enter your desired resolution for the bottom screen. It doesn't matter too much what you choose, just keep in mind that Citra will render the bottom screen at that size, so it's better to keep it small to use less processing power. I have mine set at 800 by 480 because it's a pretty standard resolution and anything more than that won't really make a difference. Although if you're using something that has a bigger screen, like an iPad, you can go ahead and put a larger resolution. Then. Enable Use Native iOS Device Resolution. What this does is that it prevents the image from stretching too much if you are using an iPhone with a borderless screen like the iPhone X. Also, please make sure to disable Auto Rotate. Go ahead and enable screen sharing. It should automatically connect. Set your phone aside and go back to your PC. Go in your display settings and make sure that the layout looks like this, with your phone display aligned with the top of the primary display. If you're using multiple monitors, just push them aside so that they don't interfere with the layout. Select your phone display and then make sure that the resolution matches what you've entered on your phone. Now grab your phone and tap the screen to see if touch is working properly. Alright, next up, you're gonna configure Citra. For this, you need to find the app data folder. The easiest way to do so is by using the run command window. Once you have it open, go to roaming, Citra, config, and then open the qt-config file in notepad. Scroll down until you find the layout section. This is the part that can get confusing, so let's try to keep it as simple as possible. The only parameters you have to worry about are layout underscore option and all the ones that start with custom underscore. You can ignore the rest. First, let's change layout underscore option to one. Then change custom underscore layout to true. Then change all of the custom default lines to false. This will prevent Citra from going back to default settings whenever you open it. Make sure you leave custom underscore layout to true. Now for the screen resolutions. Custom underscore top is for the top screen and custom underscore bottom is for the bottom screen. Set custom top left and custom top top to zero. Set custom top right to your primary display's horizontal resolution. Set custom top bottom to its vertical resolution. Now for the bottom screen. Set custom bottom left also to your primary display's horizontal resolution. Set custom bottom top to zero. Set custom bottom right to the sum of the horizontal resolution of both displays, like so. Set custom bottom bottom to the vertical resolution of your phone display. Save your changes and close the file. Next up, you're going to want to download the latest build of Borderless Gaming. There should be a link in the description. Once you have it installed, launch it and also launch Citra. Make sure you have single window mode disabled, 
otherwise this won't work. Launch your game. You will see a few applications with Citra in their name appearing in Borderless Gaming. Select the one that looks like Citra Nightly head at some random numbers and add it to your favorites. Once it's added, right click it, go down to select favorite screen and select supersize. Then click on select window size. If the option is grayed out, just click on no size change first and then you should be able to click on it. It'll ask you if you want to use your mouse to select the size. Select no. Set the pixel X location to zero. Set the Y to zero as well. For the window's width, set it to the sum of the horizontal resolution of both displays. For the height, set it to the vertical resolution that is the highest between the two displays. In most cases, it should just be the vertical resolution of your primary display. And now you should be all set. It might not be working just yet, so close everything and open it again. Open the Space Desk app on your phone first, then Borderless Gaming, and then Citra. If you find that the Citra game window is fully extended to both displays, but the top and or bottom screen inside it are off to the side, then close Citra and go back to the config file to make sure that everything is correct. If the Citra game window doesn't fully extend, meaning that you can still see part of your desktop background, Go back to Borderless Gaming and make sure everything is correct there. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching!